Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today I've got two huge stories for you, starting with the full specs on AMD's upcoming 5600 XT and a really exciting report that's not only on AMD's next-gen desktop Ryzen 4000 series, but even their follow-up. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first Drop-made item. So head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, man. First up for today, AMD's upcoming RX 5600 XT was just found on ASRock's site, and it's actually set to be a pretty big deal. The GPU was originally shared on Reddit, though that post has since been taken down. Fortunately, outlets were able to get screenshots, and as always, that doesn't hurt its validity in my opinion. Either way, it was supposedly a GPU on ASRock's site, so given the Redditor did in fact get it there, this should be true. Anyway, let's go over it. For starters, this is the ASRock Challenger OC version, so the clocks will likely be a bit different from reference, well, specifically the gaming clock. Speaking of, this card comes with a base clock of 1235 MHz, a gaming clock of 1460 MHz, and a boost of 1620. The interesting part is that it comes with the same 2304 stream processors as the RX 5700. Of course, the clocks are quite a bit different, but given previous Navi GPUs, we may be able to get similar clocks and potentially similar performance. The main thing that will likely hold it back is the 6GB of GDDR6 memory. Yes, it is pretty fast at 12 gigabits per second, but 6 gigabytes isn't that great today. Not only that, but this card only has a single 8-pin connector, so overclocking potential may not be enough to get there. Hopefully other board partners will have something more, but who knows? It's obvious that the 5600 XT has the potential to cannibalize their 5700, so AMD could do a few things to hold it back. Either way, I'm definitely excited to test this bad boy out. Speaking of things that I'm really excited for is AMD's next-gen CPUs, and I apologize because I just recently found this story, yet it's a couple weeks old at this point. Still, it's really interesting, and I'm going to tie in a recent interview with AMD, so we've got to talk about this. In a recent report by Red Gaming Tech, they discuss what they've heard regarding not only AMD's next-gen Zen 3-based Ryzen 4000 CPUs, but also their Zen 4-based Ryzen 5000 processors. Now, for those who don't remember, a little while back I discussed a report from Red Gaming Tech where their source claimed 4th Gen Ryzen would get more than an 8% IPC boost, but they never said an exact number. Well, a few rumors have come out since then, and here we have all of them, as well as multiple sources pointing us in the right direction. With that said, as always, keep in mind that these are still anonymous sources, but Red Gaming Tech definitely has a decent history of leaks. Just know that it's ultimately a rumor as of now. Anyway, the really interesting part is that through reportedly two sources, not including Bits and Chips report, Ryzen 4000 isn't just expected to get a little over 8% IPC increase, but a 10 to 12% integer performance increase and up to a massive 50% boost in floating point operations. And all of this accumulates into an average IPC gain of a whopping 17% over Zen 2. Now, I would normally say that sounds almost too good to be true, but remember that AMD themselves stated that this is a full architectural redesign, and in a very recent interview with Anantech, they stated that their goal is to continue beating the 7% average IPC increase with each Zen processor, so it's not completely out there. As for how, we don't know too much about the redesign other than what seems to be a weird redesign of the L3 cache. When it comes to clocks, we originally heard that we'd be getting a 100-200 MHz increase, but according to Red Gaming Tech, only Epic will see that much of an increase because they're already clocked so low. Ryzen is only expected to get around 50-100 to 100 MHz higher. Of course, clocks aren't even that relevant with an insane 17% IPC increase from just 7 nanometers to 7 nanometers plus. Remember that Intel's years in the making 10 nanometer process only got an 18% average IPC increase over Skylake, and their clocks actually went down. Granted, we've seen recently that they may be going way up with Tiger Lake. Next, they mentioned that we won't get more cores from Ryzen 4000, but Red Gaming Tech did touch on the Ryzen 5000 series, and according to them, we will likely get more cores there. Finally, the AM5 platform is expected to debut with Zen 4, and it apparently comes with support for DDR5, which means faster RAM and hopefully a faster Infinity Fabric. All in all, to say I'm excited for Ryzen 4 is an understatement. Unfortunately, Red Gaming Tech seems to not expect it until the end of next year, which means we may have to wait quite a bit longer than usual. Hopefully not, though. Fingers crossed. 
So while that does it for today, what do you think about AMD's next-gen Ryzen CPUs? Are you excited or what? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.